prevents? Okay. So you use this at the... Okay, yeah. I would never remember to use those. You can buy treats at some point. Oh, that's so good. I need that. Tropical party in your mouth. I don't like the sound of that. All right, buy all that. Thank you. I'm going to hold off on buying more lemon gels and whatnot right now because I want to, you know, I don't think we need them immediately. And if I don't need them immediately, I may as well wait until maybe they are, uh, we level up the shop more and they're less expensive, you know? Where, uh, oh, the inn, my bad. Oh, wait, the inn back in Laurent. I thought that we had to go down here to see them at their boat. I know, I won't forget the hotel broom, girl. I know. I'm pretty sure we have to see uh, Elise and Rowan again first. Or maybe we can just do it all right now, because apparently I was meant to go to the inn. Morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctagall's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Spreading over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherrilton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. <laughs> these, these foolish fools think that I'm going to allow the healer to be separated from the party again. You foolish fools, there's no way. Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. I... I don't think it's the same voice actress. And it might just be because they seem like similar characters. But Sonia here, Leia's mother, really reminds me of Greta from Spectrobe's Origins. I don't think it's the same voice actress, though. They just sound kind of similar. 
She'll be home before dinner. She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's gonna get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. What a weird scene. But hey, they gave us a large fruit yakisoba. I'm down. Where'd Leia go? I really wanted to talk to her. I think we go this way to get to Lakatum or whatever. Don't we? Oh no, we go to Lerone Sea Haven. My mistake. I keep getting ahead of myself. Thinking like, hey, now we go to the Lakatum place that Jude mentioned like 30 minutes ago. I wouldn't have made it without you. Alright, good talk, good talk. But it's like, nah, dude, you gotta keep going back and forth between Lerone and Lerone Sea Haven. Hello there. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? What's the point, Mom? We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. That must be why you slapped me in the face. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Seahaven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. This kind of abandonment can really stunt our emotional growth and stuff and things. <laughs> that is the most technical thing I've ever heard before in my life. I have a degree in psychology, and he's right. Jude. Oh, no. Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The thing she's gotten you involved with. What are you going to do, Dad? Stop me? I'll punch you. Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? My man! Alvin? My new job didn't really pan out. You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. I don't, you know, there's a whole heck of a lot of suspect going on around here is all I'm going to say. You're coming with us? You, you know this man? Yeah. We're old traveling buddies. Elvin, can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry. I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> <laughs> Last call for boarding. The ship will be departing momentarily. 
you can't fight people off, I guess they have to come. Well then, what are you waiting for? Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. Right. Yeah. I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. It's just that easy. All right, goodbye. This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven. I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. <laughs> Rowan, please tell us your plan for taking us to Ajul. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth spirits. It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the sea routes to Fenmon are still closed, so if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmon over land? <laughs> that's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gondala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renome. Fezabel Marsh should be possible. For now, anyway. So many words! If you say so. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel, Elise. I'm not sure I understand either. Uh, in other words... I love Rowan's... Go if we hustle through the marshes, right? The game auto-moved the... It cycled the text without my decision. How dare you? I did not press X. But I love that Rowan does the laughing animation, but there's no laughing noise. That's great. Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sherilton, the Golems and Fort Gondola remain activated. This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Rashagal is readying for open war. With who? With Ajul? Who who else? I'm I might be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty certain there are only two countries in Rize Maxia. There's Rashagal and there's Ajul. There are no others. There is no third or fourth country. There are only those two. Why would they want to do that? Unless you were talking about like a civil war, like Rashagal was gonna fight itself. I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. <laughs> What's wrong? There's a person in there. 
Oh, I know who it is. I love that smirk. I love, look, I love that look Jude has right now. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. Drop her in the ocean, IMO. I got so bored waiting in there, I must have fallen asleep. Then you'll be well rested for the return trip home. Return trip? I'm coming with you. This isn't a game. I know, right? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is Alvin, our little buddy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Alvin is the tallest person here. Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Who doesn't want to be just like Mila, though? That's just normal. Hmm. Well? Is that it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled the scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. She actually made a list. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. Excuse me? <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human. Writing lists like that is not a normal human thing. You've gotta be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. Poor Jude is over here trying to win the heart of his waifu, and now his childhood friend is going to be around cramping his style. I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. All right, the main party is all gathered. They've done it. <laughs> Got Leia's notes. All right, a lot of stuff happened in Thanks, chat. Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have made it without you. It's the second time you've said that. A lot of stuff happened in chat while all that cutscene stuff was going on. Let me catch up with chat real quick. Guess how much farther in Jude's story do you have left to go through until it's complete? A, a lot. <laughs> like, this is a Tales of JRPG. It's like an 80-hour game. Probably even more than that. Nah, nah, there's no... I don't think this game is more than 80 hours. Unless you do a whole lot of crazy, like, extra stuff. I don't know, how long did it, back when I did 15 minute parts, I finished Tales of Zillia in 150 parts, I think? So that would have been... For... 160... 50 hours? I don't know, I, I don't want to do math right now. Back then it would have been every 40 parts was 10 hours. So it only would have been around 40 hours, that doesn't sound right. But there were also some part 100s in there. Nah, it's like a 50 hour game. It's, it's around 50 hours, I think depending on how you play it. But, uh... I think, uh, they don't have, like, actual chapters in this game, but this game is, like, broken up into four or five parts, and we're in, like, part two right now, I think. We're, like, early on in part two. Leia losing her legs, I think, is the start of part two of the game, if I remember right. So there is, like, a lot of game left to go. What else did I miss in chat? The person who voices Sonya in, Sony in this game had nothing to do with Spectrobes, but she does voice Izzy in Digimon Adventure 1 and 2, and she voiced Shinta, Sojiro, and Yutaro in Rurini Kenshin. I was just watching Rurini Kenshin! No wonder I recognized her voice. She was one of Sojiro's two voice actors. Because Sojiro had two of them. He switched in the middle of the series. 
Shinta is Kenshin as a child. Wow, that's amazing. I did not know that. 